Dustin here with Jagged Brush Studios showing you how to paint a sloop from oak and iron. First we started with the Xenopal Prime. Then we're going to cut to some oak brown. Of course a game called oak and iron from Firelock Games needs to have a color called oak brown. Cover the entire exterior of the hole with this color so we're going to do both sides. Make sure to paint the rear of the ship as well, and everything down below by the rudder. We're also going to use this color to paint all of the rigging for the sails, so the, the wooden poles. Make sure to take your time and paint confidently here, so the best way to do it is to pull a stroke and then just go with it. That's how you get the straight lines running down the sides of the sails. There's three sets of sails on the ship, so make sure you paint all three. The two larger ones have a couple riggings that run parallel, and then the smallest one only has the one rigging. We're also going to use this color on the sides of the cannons that are on board the ship, so that's going to be brown to show the wood on there, and any of the paneling on the inside of the ship, so you can see on the floorboards where I painted some of the brown lines on the panel. Then we're going to cut into using our skeleton bone. This is going to be the entire floor decking of our ship. This is going to take a couple of coats, likely, so I'm going to show you the first one that I put in, but then I actually end up using three coats to get the color that I want. So cover the entire interior of the boat. This includes painting up the inside of the railings. And then we're going to go to Angel Green. We're painting a Dutch ship here, and they typically had some green on the side, so we're going to hit this top part of the hull, and we're going to do this on both sides of the ship. And then we're going to go to Necromancer Cloak. These are going to do the boards that run the exterior of the ship. I know there's names for them, but I figure it's easier to call them boards for most people. So we're going to paint both boards on the exterior of the ship. There's one that runs the top and one on the bottom. We're also going to paint the, the bottom of the front of the ship with this, as well as there's a couple of vertical boards that run on each side of the ship. So I'm only showing you one side, but you're going to do this repeat on both sides of the ship. It's a symmetrical ship. Make sure you get that top rail as well. We're also going to do the top of the top rail. Um, make sure you get this all the way around the boat. And then we're going to do the ribbing that runs up the inside of the ship as well. So these are fine little stroke lines. I'm using a pretty small brush. Make sure that you take your time and be careful with it. If you do mess up, go ahead and cover it back up with some of that skeleton bone once it dries. We're also going to finish the cannons with this color, because at this size, using a metallic paint wouldn't look too great. So make sure you get the cannons on the inside, and then they poke through on the outside of the ship as well. Next we're going to go to Phoenix Flame, and this is going to do the, the front of the ship. The Dutch had some yellow color on there, and I really like this bright yellow for this, so make sure you paint that whole thing up with some yellow. Do both sides the same.
We're also going to do the rear rail this. I know I initially painted it black, but it looks good yellow, and it just adds a little splash of color on the rear of the ship. Dragon Red, we're going to do the flaps above the cannons. That's all we're using this for. There's six of them, three on each side. Make sure you get all of them. They're right above the cannon ports. Spaceship Exterior is a color we're going to use on the entirety of the sails, so I know we already primed them white, but the Spaceship Exterior is a really light gray that really looks good. So make sure you cover the entire thing with the Spaceship Exterior. It's going to add for some subtle highlighting later when we do our next steps. Next we're going to grab some of our soft tone and we are going to mix it roughly 50-50 with our spaceship exterior to add some light tan colors into our sails to show some just dirt and sail usage and to give some subtle shading. We're also going to go into that soft tone and add it to the front. And then here I'm diluting some soft tone with some water roughly 50-50. And we're going to use this to cover the decking on the inside of the ship. It really knocks down the brightness of that skeleton bone and makes it look like some weather-worn planks on the inside. So really important step, but you definitely do not want it full strength. It's not going to look right. Matte white is going to be our next one. We're going to thin this down pretty thin with some water, maybe 50-50 with water, and then we're going to bring some of the highlights back on the sails but subtle. Make sure you feather this out and blend it very well if you want it to look really nice as a highlight on the table. Finally, the set comes with some nice stickers. Pull the Dutch one off, stick to the top of the rigging, and you are ready to go once you've glued everything together. Pop it into the base that comes with it. These bases are amazing and great to play with and you're ready to put this ship on the table. I would be proud to sail this in my fleet. And here it is, the final ship. It looks really great on the table. The sloop is the smallest and the hardest to paint, so keep an eye out for the next ones that we're going to do as we do the entire line of the core set of Oak and Iron from Firelock Games. <laughs>